Hi everyone, this is Chris from Monetics and welcome to Fintech Republic exclusive interview. So another employable skill building program is being held in Uganda today by Monetics local investment partner, the country which is Capital Safi. They call this Blockchain Innovation Program. It was launched on the 2nd of September, 2022, and it's making noise at this time to the developers world in Uganda. And today, we're going to have our special guest to give us full overview of this program. So with the further ado, please welcome Mr. Reginald Tumasini, the CEO and founder of Capital Sabe. Um, thank you, Reginald, for accepting my invitation and welcome to Fintech Republic exclusive interview. Uh, Reginald, uh, please give us an overview about the Blockchain Innovation Program and what impact are we achieving with this? Yeah, so the Blockchain Innovation Program is, is simply about empowering young, uh, you know, developers uh, to acquire the right skills. Um, uh, you know, in the first cohort, we've been privilege to partner with the BSV Blockchain Association. Uh, and so there will be learning skills that have been powered by the BSV uh, Blockchain Academy. And these are really hardcore developer skills uh, where they will learn how to code uh, on the BSV Blockchain. Uh, we've also been privileged to partner with the Dojo and I'll explain how the Dojo comes in. So the objective of this program is really to empower young people, acquire blockchain development skills using the BSV blockchain network, um, as well as natural entrepreneurial cap capabilities. And in fact, the program has been designed in such a way that at the end of the 10 weeks, uh, we will have a hackathon where the participants will have a chance to demonstrate uh, the knowledge that they've acquired uh, to build a project, either a totally new project or enhance one they've been engaged in. And then we'll pick the best project by way of ideation, by way of the quality of codes, ETC, and then the best entrepreneur will be uh, sent to London for a further 12 week uh, uh, accelerator program with the Block Dojo, where again, the Dojo focuses more around. Uh, uh, startup bottlenecks uh, and other elements uh, that are required to build a successful business. There is an opportunity after that for this successful entrepreneur to get access to funding and interact with different uh, investors across uh, different areas. So, uh, and, and then the question is what happens to the other 49? Because this is a 50, the first cohort will include only 50. So the rest of those who, after the 10 weeks, don't make it to London will be exposed, of course, uh, to an ecosystem of like-minded developers, companies that are looking to hire them, uh, even investors that would be interested in their own individual projects. So whereas we got an opportunity to partner with the Dojo, uh, that partnership was locked in a little bit late after the entire program was designed. So what we are trying to avoid is for most young developers to look at it uh, uh, as an end in itself, but uh, rather to remember that uh, the initial plan was for them to acquire skills, be part of a BSV blockchain uh, and ecosystem, uh, and then further use these skills. So the dojo, if you don't make it to the dojo, doesn't mean you're not good enough and doesn't mean, you know, the world is ending. It simply means that you can continuously engage with us and the ecosystem that you'll be uh, sort of exposed to. Yeah, so that's really, in a nutshell, it's really a self-space program. Uh, you know, those who are successful will have access to uh, to different tools online uh, by way of their login details. Uh, but we have designed by weekly meetups where we meet physically as a team, uh, you know, participating in the first cohort. Uh, and the idea is to nurture other aspects of an entrepreneur, you know. So bring in guest speakers uh, to tackle topics ranging from strategy to sales to marketing to even other interesting topics such as wellness and mental health and, and things of that nature. So it, it's really going to be uh, very interactive and uh, we look forward to, to launching it. 
Awesome. That's really awesome. Uh, whether they win or not, it's still it's a win-win situation for all the applicants because they will be able to learn so much thing on BSB blockchain. Is that right? Yes, because, uh, you know, like I mentioned, uh, the dojo really came in late, I, I must say. But the original idea was, you know, after the 10 weeks, we are internally as Capital Savvy planning an accelerator program to house these entrepreneurs after they've acquired these skills. And through our networks with the BSV Blockchain Association, we will expose uh, these uh, developers or entrepreneurs to different opportunities. Could be jobs, could be access to, uh, uh, you know, uh, be part of projects, could be a case of pitching for finance, and so we will use our networks to engage these continuously uh, and also provide the right infrastructure for them to meet. We are thinking of ideas around a physical working space, uh, ideas around continuously linking them up to investors, to, um, um, to employers and to project owners. So it's just the beginning. With, yeah. yeah, so it's a 100% employable skill building program. Um, Reginald, yes. why choose... BSB blockchain among the other blockchain in the market today? Uh, very good question. Uh, I think for me, it's, uh, it's, it's really a case of uh, the fact that uh, the BSV blockchain has positioned itself as a, an enterprise grade uh, blockchain. Uh, you know, I keep telling people that this whole blockchain space uh, has been um, uh, filled with lots of crypto discussions and speculation. Um, so it's one of those protocols that has come out very clearly to dissociate from speculation and focus more on enterprise grade solutions. Uh, it's a very scalable uh, blockchain itself, it's secure. Uh, one could argue that other protocols would have those, uh, uh, you know, surrogates, but uh, from what we've learned, and studied about it, it's, it's, it's one of the most scalable, if not the most scalable protocol. So <clears throat> like I said, for us, we're focusing on skills. We're not focusing on speculation and elements around crypto. Crypto is just one use case of blockchain. So BSV has really done well to differentiate itself from speculation, to focus more on building an ecosystem of builders and, and non-speculators, which is why we were attracted to working with them. Totally. I agree with you with that. I'm just curious, who are the people behind this idea? How did you prepare for it? And what was the initial reaction of your high profile panelists when, when they were invited in this event? Well, it's, it's an idea that we had as Capital Savvy. We approached the association with this idea and asked to partner with us, which we were blessed to have. Uh, them as a partner, uh, but the, the idea was definitely well received in the market. We've never had anything like this. Uh, and, and the way we work at the farm is uh, we try to be very inclusive. And so one of the things that we strongly did for the launch is to engage uh, different stakeholders. As you saw, our panel had, was quite diverse. Uh, we had the chairman of the Blockchain Association, Kwame, uh, we had Edlin, uh, who works with Yellow Card, which is a crypto exchange. Uh, we had Lillian, who works with Refactory. Refactory has done a fantastic job, uh, uh, you know, uh, with developing skills for Web2 developers. Uh, we had the likes of CK Jaffet uh, that have done really well uh, building an ecosystem of, uh, of, of entrepreneurs and tech builders. And we had David, who is an entrepreneur and who has tried to do things around NFTs and, you know, payments and tourism. So it was quite a diverse panel. And the idea around it was to give uh, motivation or to give uh, some sport sort of demonstration of how if we work as, as a team, uh, we can go places. And so it was very well welcome. We're in the process of... Uh, um, of reviewing applications uh, as they come in. Uh, we hope to close the application window on the 19th of September, after which we will focus on uh, creating the right fit for cohort one. 
So it's 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 like I said, it's never been seen before. Uh, and and like I mentioned, this is a regional project. Uh, we we intend on socializing this across the region in East Africa, uh, and and sort of engage as many young developers within the region as, as we possibly can. All right. Thank you. Um, we have an application fee of 50 USD, and it says that the fee of unsuccessful applicants will be refunded. Is this an indication that the program will filter all the applicants? What are the qualifications? Yeah, what we tried to avoid, so when we came up with the figure, uh, when we came up with uh, the figure around uh the 50 dollars uh the idea was to uh you know uh, for for the students or the applicant for my interactions for my interactions with other experienced people especially those who've been focused on web 2 developers like refactory it's usually not the case and so making it towards the end of the 10 weeks will be a big milestone for those who will so for that we will offer different certifications uh, as well as there will be definitely a day where we'll sort of graduate these people uh, and we hope to, to, to coincide the graduation day with the launch of some sort of accelerator fund, uh, which we're still uh, finalizing uh, details of. Um, and the, the idea around this fund will be to support them further beyond their uh, grad, to create a co-working space, to equip them with you know, the right skills, the right mentorship, um, and the right linkages with like-minded people to continuously engage. So that's the plan that we have as a farm. And so it's just the beginning and a lot more is to happen. That's going to be awesome. And I bet that there will be a, a feast at the end of the program, <laughs> right? Um, absolutely, Reginald, absolutely. Yes. Reginald, mm. oh, please invite everyone where we can register until when is the registration. And where can we when, can we follow the updates about the blockchain innovation program? Okay, so for now we've uh, we we the program is being run under Capital Service social media, specifically on LinkedIn. We don't have very huge presence on Twitter, and that has been very deliberate. <laughs> So we mostly are on LinkedIn uh, under Capital Service page, uh, but eventually after cohort one, we will have a separate LinkedIn page for the blockchain innovation program. Uh, but for now, everything is being communicated through LinkedIn. We've also designed a specific website for the program, uh, which is bip.capitalsavvy.pro. Uh, and when you visit the Blockchain Innovation Program website, you'll be able to learn more. Uh, and the registration process is very seamless as well. Uh, so every detail that anyone would want to know about the program is clearly highlighted uh, on the website. Uh, thank you. We will write all the links in the description below. All right. You heard it right from Reginald Timosimi, the CEO and founder of Capital Save. Thank you very much, Reginald, for your time. And um, thank, thank you them. too for having me. Yes, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. um, we are uh, looking forward to the success of this blockchain innovation program. Monetics will be there as well to distribute all the all the materials that you're going to launch. All right, thank you very much for watching FinTech Republic exclusive interview. Um, if you find this video or podcast interesting, please generous enough to give us a like and subscribe for more. Again, my name is Chris with Reginald Timosimi from Monetics and Capital Sabe, and see you in the next one. Ciao.